All right, let's go ahead and write a code so that we can store our data in JPEG format in our local directory itself. So I'm going to write here a code since we know that in our data set, we have only train. We have only here, uh, you know, the train is split. So we need to store this train data. But before that, let's go ahead and visualize this info data and try to understand more about our data set. So this says that our data set size is almost 700 megabytes and our uh, image or the data have these features where we have image and label along with that it also has their image and file name so basically it is also having their the you know it is also having their the folder where your image is there so basically uh, either we can download this one or you can take these image and the label and then you can make your own directory and store your data supervised key says that the data will be stored in the form of image and the label tuple so we have to read our data in the same tuple something like this what we see here total number of examples it says that split have 23264 examples and total number of samples it has there two which is dogs and cats there so we see there this supervised keys are their image and the label we need to also read these features label and in that we will be reading here number of classes so these two things we want so we are gonna just uh, copy this these things from there and then i'm just gonna you know the paste it here All right, so let's go ahead and run it. And now I'm gonna here uh, store this data. So we have to first, before that, we have to uh, see this info. In that, we are gonna do here features, and inside that, we are gonna see here label. All right, so thereafter, you will be seeing number of classes is two, and once you type their names, you will be getting here classes names. So I write here class names. All right, so we have here class names. We get here cat and dog. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward. We are now gonna store our data in our directory there. So I write here for i example. So I will be here index. So for i, I'm gonna write here enumerate train data set. So I have here data sets. In that we have here train split so this is name of our data sets which we have here data sets and train split here once we get this train split along with that we are enumerating our data when we enumerate our data then then uh, th this also gives you the index of your data so this i is nothing other than just the index thereafter we will be reading our data with image and label now you know that our supervised keys are stored as image and the label so i can simply just put it here image label equal to example that's all now i'm going to store our data in local directory something like this we are going to manage so i'm going to give here name cats versus dogs inside that we are going to provide there our cats and dogs data so what i write here i write save dir i write here save dir is equal to cats versus dogs and then in forward slash now you see in previous lectures we have been storing multiple splits of our data like train and test splits but now we have only train split so no need to store it with train and validation split so i'm just going to store it into direct uh, into this uh, directory directly there so thereafter, I need to also give the name of uh, label, uh, whether it is dog or cat. So for that purpose, I write it something like this. And then I write it here, a format. Since this label, as we know that this is unsigned integer 8 value. So this has 0 and 1 value. I need to get here class name, numerical class name. So I put it here like this. And thereafter, I put it here, a label. Let's go ahead and print this save dir. And then you see what happens here. I'm just going to do here a break statement as well so that we can just print here save directory. So with the save directory, we have cats versus dogs and there is dog. So that's the first data. 
but if we keep storing it for all the data you will be seeing their cat versus dogs and the cat will be also there let's go ahead and make this directory there so i can simply write here os dot make dirs in that i'm going to just write this save dir and then i say here exists equal to true so in this case what happens if directory exists there then if directory exists there then it is going to it, it is not going to create directory and it will not also throw the error now if you see there cats versus dog should be created and inside that we are having here a dog folder because our save dir have just dog folder there once you have all got all these now we are ready to give the file path so i am gonna create here a file path name is equal to we have to keep here save dir name along with that in, inside each of these folders we are going to store our name our, our uh, you know the documents with the index number so i'm just gonna put it something like this stri and thereafter i'm just gonna do here plus jpg so with this what do you see there if you print this file name you will be seeing this file name will be here cat versus dog and then inside this dog folder 0.jpg will get stored there all right so all the file will get stored with their respective index number and in their respective folders i'm just gonna you know avoid, i'm just gonna delete all these things and then in final step i'm gonna just store our image so our data is inside this image variable we are gonna use here kras preprocessing library so i write here tf dot kras dot preprocessing dot image dot save underscore img in that i write here img uh, in that i write here image all right thereafter i write here the file uh, uh, I, I think something is wrong here uh, first of all we need to give here path thereafter we need to give their uh, file so here i need to first of all i need to give here file path underscore name thereafter i need to give here image in numpy array so i write here image dot numpy it will automatically get converted as numpy array i'm just gonna run this if you run this you will see there a cat and dog folder is there and these names are stored with their respective index all these images, if you see there the cat will have there the cat images dog will have their dog images do you see there and in the dog section if you see these will be having only dog images all right i'm just gonna again close all these things this is a huge image uh, it has total 23,000 images approx and uh, it will definitely take a little time to store all these images in your local directory all right so this is all about in this lesson i'll see you next one